In this Shumagen tutorial, I will teach you how to get rid of this lining allowance that we have on our court shoes and how to do it very professionally to have very accurate and clean edge of your upper. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Now, before I will show you how to get rid of this lining allowance, let's remind you why we actually need to have this lining allowance, why we can't cut it together with other parts of our upper. Actually, this lining allowance will help you a lot during lasting your shoes. And we need to leave this lining allowance almost in every court footwear type. I mean, sling back pumps, um, palm shoes, flat body shoes, sneakers, not sneakers, <laughs> Oxford shoes, derby shoes, almost in every court footwear type. Why? Because when we will leave this extra lining allowance, during, uh, through this lining allowance, we can place nails, and you can see the marks of the nails left on this lining allowance, to hold our upper during lasting so we can last our line we can pull our upper and lining together and we can pull it strong so and we will be sure that our upper will don't don't move slower from the needed place because we keep our upper with the nails because of this lining allowance okay that's why we should leave our lining allowance in these parts of our upper, on both sides of the upper. Also, this approach will, ha will help you to last both halves of your shoes identically, because you will place it correctly, identically on both halves of your shoe last, I mean the right and left half of your pair, you will place it identically with the nails and then you can don't you you don't need to worry uh, how it will come out because they will be the same okay because of this approach now how to cut this lining allowance uh, usually i say it a lot that in this place where we need to cut it uh, some of you have not accurate age so there is few approaches to cut this lining allowance you can do it with scissors or with knife. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do it with knife. I will use this shoemaking knife. If you don't have this shoemaking knife, you can do it with simple utility knife. But uh, what is important here is to have very sharp edge, very sharp blade here or, or utility knife. How to sharpen your knife? Uh, I have a tutorial where I teach how to do it and you can find a link to this tutorial in the description below this video. So, first condition is sharp knife. Second thing is that you need to open your lining allowance so it will not be attached to the upper. You need to open like this with your fingers. So during cutting you will see the seam that you have here and to not cut the seam we need to open it to see it don't worry open it very well on both sides you see this is how we can open now when you cut this uh, lining allowance, you will need to hold your knife in certain angle. It's approximately 45 degrees, because if you will cut it straight, you will see the, egg, uh, the edge of the lining from this part of our upper. But we don't want to see the edge of the lining, so we need to hold it approximately in 45 degrees. Now. I will show it like this on the table, but it's much more comfortable would be if you will do it on your lap because you will hold it comfortable, you will see it closely, 
so when you will do it, do it on your lap. Now, next thing is during cutting, you need to pull a little bit this lining allowance and also pay attention how you cut to not damage the seam. So the cut must be close to the seam, but not touch the seam, okay? So let's start. Be sure that you open it and place it approximately in 45 degrees and see the edge. Also, working with this, with this approach, you will not cut the upper, okay? The edge of the upper. You need to pull a little bit lining allowance and do it slowly. Be also very, very careful with your blade, okay? Do not cut yourself. You see? Open it like this, hold it. That's it. Now we cut it very accurate and it continues with the other part, with the other edge of our lining. Okay? Now same thing you can do with utility knife. Do the same thing. I will not repeat it, it because it will be the same. So hold it also in 90, in not 90, in 45 degrees. Pull a little bit the lining allowance so you will see the beginning of the seam you will open it like this when you will pull and place uh, the blade of the knife approximately in 45 degrees so you will not damage the edge of the upper okay so do it like this maybe from the first time you will not do it accurate it because it requires a little bit experience but with the time you will manage it correctly Okay, so this is one of the approaches to work with knife or utility knife or shoemaking knife. Also, there is another way to cut it with scissors, but it's a little bit difficult because in this place, sometimes it's very uh, difficult to hold the scissors. Okay, because the uh, approach is the same. You need to pull a little bit lining to open it, to seal the seam and cut with the scissors. Okay, so this is it. Uh, now you know how to do it. If you have some questions, uh, please comment below the video and I will love to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.